Okay. Welcome to the Daily Overfest. My, brain, my name is Amiel and I make apps. I have a new dolphin. <laughs> Today I want to talk about how I'm not the best manager. Okay, so I'm still in the Philippines. I'm still at the beach resort. My team left about an hour ago and I'm staying one more day and then tomorrow I go back to Manila. I stay one night in Manila and then I fly back the following day. So it's gonna be nice to get home, right? But it's been really nice to come out here and meet with the team. It's been nice to meet with the guys in, in Vietnam and uh, it's been a really great time. I'm, I'm sitting here just outside my hotel room rather than on the beach because I think I've gotten too much sun today. It's like really hot and I think I just you know, I think I just wore myself out. I need to drink some water, just go into some air conditioning. So there's a, like, the, the beach is over there. There's all kinds of activities, right? There's lots of noise you probably hear in the background. Sorry about that. I try to go someplace quiet, but the place, there's no place quiet today. So anyway, today I want to talk a bit about how I'm not a very good manager, right? So, and what I mean by this is that I'm not a very specific manager. Like I, I realize this whenever we hire somebody new and they want to know exactly what to do, a lot of the times, I just I give vague instructions on ways we on, on directions we want to go. And it, it, you know, at some point I wanted to be the kind of person who has loads of SOPs, standard operating procedures. I've known other people who do this. They'll show up. Here's our SOP. So when we have a person in charge of this, they just read through the SOPs. They, they they're trained up in a day, and they could just they could just take off. A lot of the people that I hire, they get a bit more vague instructions. So it's a lot more um, like. I, I tell them the direction that we want to go. So years ago, years ago, I watched this uh, video. It was actually it was it was a part of the um, the Eighth Habit by Stephen Covey, which was a sequel to the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and it came with this DVD with all these little mini movies in it. And there was one in there called The Four Disciplines of Execution, right? Where uh, which I recently ju I just rewatched it. I mean, I I watched it years ago, and it's, it had a big impact on me just in the back of my head. It's one of those things that, that influences you over the years, but I went back and rewatched it just before, before I would talk about it now, and it is corny. I mean, it is a very corny video, but so I'm gonna put a link to it. You can watch it if you want, but basically it's this little skit where there's like these, these kids playing football or soccer or whatever, and they're, they're um, all the kids, you know, there's the, the coaches, the, the, the grown-up coaches, He's just like, he can't believe it because the kids go out there and they're all just one big bunch and they're just kicking the ball and they're not going anywhere. Nobody really knows what to do. So he calls time out and he brings them in and he gives them very detailed instructions. Says, okay, I want you to go up the middle over here. I want you to go over here. I want you to go over here. And they're just sitting there. They don't understand what he's saying. And then they go out there and just continue to do the same thing because they don't know the goal of the game. And, one, and at one point in the video, one of the kids gets the ball away from the big huddle and it kicks it under the wrong goal, right? So a lot of what we've been doing this week when meeting with the team is like each night we've been sitting up and, and having a chat and talking about stuff, getting to know each other and laugh, laughing a lot about some of the, some of the problems we've had in the, in the past. Uh, in the past few years that m sometimes my levels of stress are way too high. Sometimes I freak out about stuff. You know, it's nice to, to, to laugh about them after the fact. But a lot of us just talking about the goals going forward, and they they know the goals. But we just talk about you know the, the new things for for the new year, where I want to see things going, the things we're doing right, the things we're doing wrong, because I I'm not very specific I, because we're at the point we're so early on in this company that I don't know enough to know what works best. So we try a lot of different things, right? If it was something where I knew exactly what to do all the time, then I would sit down and write SOPs. Now this actually with development. I am actually I am a I am a micromanager when it comes to development. I mean I feel sorry for my developers you know, when, who, when they work for me because I, I tell them specifically what I want and I will check the code and make sure. But other stuff like social media design, you know, how we promote ourselves, that kind of stuff is still up in the air. We're always changing course and, and, and doing stuff. So I, I rely a lot on very smart, talented people. And it's one of the reasons why we have such a high turn, turn rate is because some people just can't handle that that vagueness you know that you know this is where we want to go we want to put the ball into that goal can you help me come up with ways to do that this is my this is what I'm thinking right now I want to do it this way but if you see a better way to do that you know, please let me know because the nice thing about 
uh, my team is you know we've worked for the last few years is they see all the same numbers I do they see all the same app stats they see you know they work with the same clients you know we, we know what works and what doesn't it's nice to just sit down and just have a brainstorming session of how we can go forward eventually I want to get to the point where we do have the standing or op standard operating procedures we've identified the best way to do this and the best way to do that and, and there's certain things that there's certain things that we're where we do like with when it comes to some aso techniques we think this works best because we've tried other things you know responding to reviews a certain way we know what works best you know and uh but so that's kind of pretty much set in stone but you know, always be open if they if everyone knows what the goals are then we can move forward on it another book that I've, uh, has been a big influence me on me and a, a lot of entrepreneurs is the e-myth revisited if you're thinking about starting a company uh, definitely you know look into that book my brother recommended it to me and I, I read that years ago and that talks about building a business that scales right a business that scales is not like a few really smart talented people working on stuff because that doesn't scale right this is I have a business right now which will not scale I could not sell my business to somebody else because without me in it, it you know, just <laughs> Right, so this is one of the things we where we have to move forward in, in the future is, is is putting processes in place, you know, uh, processes and procedures, and we, we do things pretty much the same way all the time, but get them documented and everything. The E Myth Revisited talks about the the different uh, levels of, of companies like the the infant stage, the adolescent stage, and everything like that, and eventually it gets to the point where it either stays small or it grows and in order to go to grow you have to be able to put procedures in place so that anybody can come in and it talks about the um, it uses McDonald's a lot as an example you know at McDonald's everything is you know they've identified the best way to do something you know it's and everything's you know precision timed and everything and when somebody comes in if you've ever worked at McDonald's and I've worked at three different McDonald's when I was a teenager in three different locations right and you go in there and there, there's no there's nothing vague about it. They'll tell you exactly what to do. They train you up on fries that first day, you know, and it's just everything is down to a science. And a lot of businesses are like that. It's not easy with uh, bespoke service businesses like like app development, but a lot of it should be uh, should be procedures and things like that. And that's that's kind of what we're what we're we're looking at. So. When it comes to management, I've, I've never really been very good at it. I'm much better. I can manage developers. I can manage developers just fine. A lot of the other stuff, it's still feeling our way around. And we've had a lot of success with it. We've had a lot of success, but I always think there, there may be another way. And if everybody knows the goals and knows where we're trying to get to, you know, like right now, mm, should I tell you this? Okay, right now I want to get to the point where we have 10 clients a month by the end but within 12 months time I want to get 10 new clients a month and right now we're like two right so it's it's really you know how can we get to that point one thing is we can't do it working the way we do we, we just don't scale I mean that's a the uh, Michael Gerber the e-myth guy in one of his seminars he says most businesses you know the reason they don't they don't take on more clients is because it would kill them because they haven't put things they haven't you know Put the procedures and everything in place and to be able to bring people on so that's what we plan on doing over the next over the next 12 months and and a lot that was a lot of the focus of uh speaking with these guys here speaking to the people in vietnam and just in general so everybody knows which way we're, we're trying to go and you know what it may not it may not work out but we have to have a goal we have to have something to work towards so anyway that's it for today. I hope this has been useful. I should be hopefully a little less pink tomorrow. And uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow.